After startup, you'll see the new tab. Here you can open a new drawing from a template or open a recent drawing. You can also receive product notifications, sign in to your Autodesk 360 account, or send us feedback. You'll be notified of any updates to the Learn or Create pages. The drawing area is where you create and modify objects to represent your design. In the upper left corner of the drawing area are the viewport controls. Here you control the number of viewports, select a named or preset view, or select a visual style. The view cube allows you to rotate the view of your drawing to see it from a different viewpoint. The navigation bar provides access to the steering wheel, pan, zoom, and orbit tools, and show motion. Use the menu button in the lower right corner to customize the navigation bar. In the lower left corner of the drawing area is the UCS icon, which displays the positive directions of the X, Y, and Z axis. When you hover over a drawing file tab, you'll see preview images of the model and layouts. Right click on any drawing file tab for additional options. Above the file tab is the ribbon. The ribbon organizes commands and tools into tabs and panels. For example, the Draw panel on the Home tab contains tools to create objects such as lines, circles, and ellipses. The Modify panel contains tools to modify objects such as Move, Copy, and Rotate. The Quick Access toolbar displays frequently used tools. You can easily customize this to include the tools you like to use. Click the Application button to create, open, or publish drawings, or to search for commands. In the lower left corner of the drawing area are the controls to switch between Model Space, where you'll do most of your drawing, and Paper Space, the layout tabs that allow you to control which area of the drawing to publish, and at which scale. You can add more layouts by clicking the plus sign. Use the command line to start a command and provide input for the current command. As you enter a command, autocomplete suggests a list of matching commands. From the command line, you can access other content such as layers, blocks, hatch patterns, and more. Press Enter after typing a command name or input. Dynamic input, which is enabled by default, displays command prompts and inputs next to the cursor. At the bottom of the application window is the application status bar. The status bar displays common drafting aids, annotation scaling tools, and workspace customization tools. Use the workspace control to change to a 3D modeling workspace where you can create solid, surface, or mesh models. Tool palettes contain tools to aid in the creation of your design. Tool palettes can also be customized with additional tools and content. In the Design Feed palette, you can view and share comments on drawings with colleagues you've tagged. 